Welcome to this video. My name is Stefanie Juchmes and I want to show you today how to install the MBS plugin for FileMaker client on your Mac. We download the plugin file from the website of MonkeyBread software. The URL is www.monkeybreadsoftware.com. We find the MBS FileMaker plugin in the tab FileMaker plugins. Down here you see the download section. We can choose between two data formats. We have a zip archive and an Apple disk image. Both packages have the exact same content. We choose the Apple disk image. With a click we start the download. This can take a few minutes. Meanwhile I show you the documentation. Therefore we click on the tab function reference. Now we see the component of the MBS FileMaker plugin. If we click on one of these components, we get a list of all functions in this component. In the individual function, we find a description about this function. Here you can see the platforms on which the function can be used. Here you see how to call this function with the parameters. In the table we find information about each parameter in detail. Also we see what the function returns. Here we see a more detailed description about what the function does and on which point we need to pay attention. Often you will find an example here that shows you how to use the function in a project. This documentation is a very helpful tool for working with the MBS functions. After the download completes, we open it. The download is checked and unzipped. We see the content of the folder. Additional to the plugin, the folder contains the documentation and an example folder with a lot of examples that you can use in your solution. Here we have the plugin for different platforms. Today we want to use the plugin for Mac. We perform a double click on the folder and see the plugin file MBS FileMaker plugin. This is the 64-bit version of the MBS FileMaker plugin. If you need a 32-bit version, please contact us. We copy this plugin file. and start FileMaker. In the Preference dialog, in the tab Plugins, we click the button Reveal Plugin Folder and paste the plugin file. Then we close FileMaker and open it again. We open the Preferences again and see that the MBS plugin is activated. If not, please check the checkbox. We now can configure the plugin. In the configuration, you can configure, activate or deactivate developer functions that the MBS plugin supplies to you. For example, you color the script text or you can search in scripts. To example, you can set a minimum font size in formulas. If you buy a MBS FileMaker plugin license, you can enter here your license key. The email that you got from us looks similar to this. You find all this information in the mail. On our website, you can apply for a trial license. Click on Try License in the navigation and complete the form. The trial license is only working for a few weeks. Please don't sell or distribute solutions with this trial license. After we check and approve your trial license, we send you an email with the license key and the other information. You also can test all functions without a trial license. Now we want to use one function from the MBS plugin. We create a new project. and open the script workspace. 
We add a new script to our project. We give it a new name. In the script step section, we see a script step MBS plugin. In this script, we want to get the version of the plugin in a custom dialog. The version of the plugin is shown in the preference dialog, but the function is useful checking version in the script. At first, we set a variable because we want the result value of this function. In the value, we edit the MBS function. We start every MBS function with the call of the function MBS. Then, as a first parameter, we set the function name as text. With the Mac version, the MBS plugin checks if the function name is valid. If it doesn't find the function name, it shows the name in red. Else, it is a valid function name and it shows blue. For our function, the function name is version. If we have more parameters, we add them separated by semicolons behind the function name. But this function doesn't use more parameters and we click OK. We can show the customer dialog. and get the variable as a result. We save our script and run it. We see now that we have the version 9.5.0 and the build number 9. If you have questions about the MBS FileMaker plugin, you can visit the FAQ section on our website or write us an email. We look forward to help you. I wish you a lot of fun with the MBS FileMaker plugin. Thank you for watching this video.